Welcome to the Comedy Trap House. It is what it is. <laughs> Look at this shit, man. This shit pulls. They're going to be thirsty as hell. <laughs> Welcome to the Comedy Welcome Trap House. Welcome to the Comedy Trap House. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, back to another episode of the Comedy Trap House. I am your host, Rome Green Jr. In the building with me, I got Cam. Yep. And uh, we are missing our bald potato-eating buddy, <laughs> Emmanuel. <laughs> <laughs> but we have someone in his place. Yep. Um, he is not a potato. The same color as one, maybe, <laughs> but not a potato. We got our good friend, David, so in the building. We're going to clap it up for David. One of my listen, favorite comedians. <laughs> listen, we... <laughs> We casted David as a doctor in about three skits. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers couldn't think of another role. In their life. No, we had you as a bartender. We, yeah, we had you as a bartender, but you did so good as a doctor. Now, we were like as a doctor at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, so man, David's a great comedian. Um, has a podcast as well, Genius Brain. Yep. Um, has a podcast, food uh, show, food show with Tim De La Ghetto, who we got to get on here as well. Restaurants. Man, David's plug doing it all, plug man. Him, plug him. I know. Man. Um, <laughs> Trying to make sure that I could eat after this shit. <laughs> I'd be saying some outlandish shit. I'm gonna get canceled real soon. Is dude. it re- real, real soon? I'm we, surprised I haven't got canceled yet. I'm like, nah, shit. I mean, when you, when you, but you, it's your own channel. It's your own platform. So you don't cancel me for. Yeah. Exactly. So I used to say like, if I go to prison, I'm still good. Like it just adds more stuff to the podcast. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Seeing David come in as your cellmate, you don't know what to expect. Cause you like. Yeah. I don't know. Am I going to have to fight him? Is he going to be cool? Like, what's... Yeah, but my skin's soft, dude. They going to fuck me. My skin's soft. <laughs> I ain't going got... to lie. If you go to jail, we going to come visit you. <laughs> <laughs> we coming to visit you. We're like, what's up? You good? You good? You, you, you need us to send you anything? Uh, I, got, I got that extra soft shit, dude. I got... <laughs> they going to fuck me between every fold of my body. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Give me that arm. Give me that elbow. Just don't, don't ever take your shirt off. They're like, what's up, Fifi? I'm like, oh, come on, man. Let like, come on. Don't, don't do that. Um... <laughs> We we were on the way here to the studio this morning, and no scrubs comes on the radio. By and TLC, by TLC, and of course the, the hook goes, "I don't want no scrub. A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me, hanging on a passenger, hanging, hanging on the side on of a passenger, passenger side, passenger's ride. Hanging, hanging on, on the, the passenger side, side, side of his best of his friend's friend's ride. People used to love this song until you started me. reciting. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> now I want to focus on that passenger side. Yeah, that's where we when we. It doesn't hold up anymore in twenty twenty. It's done. Stop that. if I'm in an Uber? Uber, oh. Uber. What if my homeboy is just going the same direction? I'm saying, hey, bro, you can drop me off real quick. So you, I'm a scrub now because I can't get in. <laughs> what if I'm in a hostage situation? <laughs> I've been kidnapped. I've been kidnapped. I'm at gunpoint. No, but you're a scrub because you're on the passenger side trying to talk to her. Song doesn't hold. You know up what? Anymore. The, the funniest thing is, like, we we say this stuff because it makes sense because we're poor. That's it. That's <laughs> <laughs> this is like poor people excuses right now, man. Maybe I'm in. Because hey, the rich person would be like, that makes sense. <laughs> you know, we're over here like trying to justify our brokenness. We're like, oh, you know what? That's right. What the fuck you talking about? Yeah. We got Uber sometimes. Don't be like, mad at me because I'm, I'm getting in the Uber. Or so basically what you're saying, we are scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's that's, a bunch of scrubs defending themselves right now. We're, we're fucking doing the slut walk. That's what it boils down to. <laughs> scrub that's, walk. That's, we're doing a scrub walk. Get your, get your scrub on. <laughs> Scrub walk. We're doing a fucking scrub walk right now, man. But that song, when it when it comes on, people just like, especially the girls, they go off. And he was like, I don't want no scrubs. I was like, has anybody ever called you a scrub? Never been called a scrub in my life. What about a girl? Maybe mm-hmm. like, you know, people say that in sports. Like sports being a scrub. a scrub. I don't know. Well, that's the thing, though. I feel like when a guy doesn't have money, we're immediately a scrub. When a, when a girl doesn't have money, they just get a free meal. Like, the fuck? It's you, true. You a scrub too, bitch. You a, scr- you a, scrub, <laughs> you a scrub with a free meal. <laughs> I know. The fuck? You ain't different than me. The hell? <laughs> that's very true. Hate that's that very shit. true. Let me go back to one point yeah. I wanted to ask you about the prison and fighting. Now that you're, you know, you're training to fight. Do you secretly wish someone tries you just to see if the skills? I know he does. Oh. Yeah, I know he does. Oh, I, was, I, know he does. <laughs> I, know I wish somebody does. would just push me in my back and then push me into a girl so I could fuck her up. No, I'm kidding. But I had a, <laughs> like, it's, it's funny because like I just um, let's just say not too recently, but the last place that I lived at, yeah. there was uh, the guy that I my neighbor was a fucking asshole. Like I fucking hated this dude. Uh, this dude in the most like typical like if you wrote a movie about the annoying white neighbor, this okay. guy fit that character to gotcha. the T, like gotcha. the stereotype to the T. Yeah. So <clears throat> when they're street parking, like you could park anywhere, right? Mm-hmm. This is how it is. Mm-hmm. But this dude, I guess, like he's been living at this house for a minute, and I parked my car on the street in front of his house. Mm-hmm. But in the whole neighborhood, there's a whole bunch of parking spots. Anybody can park there. Okay. And so our neighbors were wondering, every morning like uh, our cars were sprayed with water. And we assumed that it was a sprinkler, but I'm like, well, hold on. I checked around, so there's no fucking sprinklers yeah. around here. And uh, I just got this brand new car at the time, and this dude, 
apparently at night sprayed my car with uh, with his hose. And so didn't get it waxed or anything. So I woke up in the morning and it just had hard water stains yeah, yeah. all over the car. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh, it must, it, is it sprinklers or whatever, whatnot. And so I went to go check the car and I tried washing it off. I couldn't get the hard water stains out. And I looked at the other side and there was water on the other side too. It didn't rain. So I was like, did the neighbor spray my car at night so I don't park here? Is that is that some shit? Yeah, yeah. And you know, I'm like, I'm trying to give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, I grew up in a church. I'm like, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm Baptist. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm Presbyterian. I'm Presbyterian. I'll figure it out. Yeah, me and God, we'll, we'll talk about it. Not to be confused it. with Pescatarian. Yeah. <laughs> no, Pescatarian, Presbyterian. Yeah. <laughs> so I went up, I knocked on the door and just being real polite about it. I was like, hey man, I'm like your neighbor over here blah 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 uh me and the neighbors have been wondering have you been spraying our cars at night like are you watering or what are you doing right and he was like yeah just don't park your car there oh and i stopped and a fucking vein just came out my neck and i'm like <laughs> i'm gonna fuck this guy up and i was like what do you mean don't just park my car there? he was like yeah i parked my car there. don't park your car there just yeah. like that and I'm like as a matter of fact I was like, okay. but it's not reserved for him. It's not absolutely like absolutely not okay. a street it's open. Parking. It's just open parking, street parking, and yeah. he doesn't want you to park. There. He doesn't want you to my, my, doesn't want me to park there. So I just remember I looked at him. I was like, you spray my car again, I'm gonna fuck you up. That's all I said. Absolutely. But then I walked away, and then I just kind of sat there. I was like, oh, he sprayed my car with water to fuck it up because it's not really a form of vandalism. I can't call the cops. I can't do it. I can't be like, what you calling us about water? Exactly. Yeah. He out whited my ass. I was he like, <laughs> I was like, fuck this guy. <laughs> So I was thinking, I was like, I don't think he understands. Like, I'm a petty human being. Yeah, I'm a yeah, petty yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. So what I did was for the next week, I checked out to see when he went to work mm -hmm. and when he came home. Mm -hmm. And I found out the times that he came home. And so what I did was I put nails in his tires. And so throughout the week, slowly, his tires started to deflate. <laughs> And so, uh, a month later, like a mad ex girl, right? <laughs> and so I was like, "Oh, we're gonna do this shit." Yeah. And so his tires started to flame. But within that month, I started becoming really chummy with him. So every morning, I'm like, "Good morning, neighbor. Good morning." But his nail, his tires were deflating As, every day. Yeah, yeah. And so he got new tires, and I put some fresh nails in them. <laughs> no. I did it twice. Yeah. For four months, so he had to get a total of four new tires. <laughs> Yeah, that's twice. expensive. Oh, yeah, that's expensive. Yeah, that was expensive. expensive. That's expensive. Yeah. You're not getting used tires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And he couldn't pinpoint what it, what was going on, I'm sure. And like saying good morning to him every day made my spirit fill up with joy. Yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah. good morning, Dave. He's like, good morning. I'm like, fuck you, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah, fuck that guy, though. I was like, I know, you know, we're at that age now where you just can't slap people. Uh, there's yeah. consequences. Yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. As a kid, you can just go around and you just slap them, and you just see what happens. Yeah, like yeah. I've never wanted to back. I wanted to lick the back of my hand and, and then, then slap them. <laughs> but see, and, and what? So what? What have you been um, training in for people? Uh, Muay Thai, that, and then every now and then some like grappling and okay. stuff like that. So do you do you feel like what's the uh, do you feel like in, in Muay Thai if you had to fight somebody, do you think that would hold up against just? Fighting like straight up, hundred percent. It's because well, Muay Thai is it's basically it's boxing but with legs. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So gotcha. you open well, up. Yeah. Most people don't expect leg kicks. Like, oh yeah, you know, if, I, if I'm about to fight a guy and he lift his leg, I'm like, oh shit, yeah, <laughs> like, he, he knows some I shit. Don't I up. don't fucking <laughs> know. Uh, if, I mean, if he starts like bouncing and cracking his neck, I'm like, all right, that's okay, it, I'm not. Nah, yeah, it's not good. No, nah. nah. anytime you got to stretch all parts before exactly. a fight, it's like, oh so no. So how long has it been? It's been uh, almost two years now. Oh, okay. And yeah, what yeah. point did you feel like, all right, I'm ready to fight someone now? Well, the funny thing is, before I even started training, I always felt like I was ready to scrap, and it turns out I wasn't that good. Yeah. <laughs> like, you grew up around black people, didn't you? Y'all didn't slap box? Yeah, yeah we did. But, <laughs> <laughs> that, that was actually my baby shower. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you slapping my kid? That's <laughs> like, funny. Yeah. No, but uh, the funny, I think like we all think that we got regular hands, right? Yeah. But it's different when somebody knows how to fight. Like, yeah, it's, no, it's, for sure. It's just, it's a different science. Like, yeah. when, like when, I, when I started watching boxing after that too, because I, I lightweight watched boxing, mm -hmm. just I didn't know what I was looking at until I started training. Like, um, like everybody slapped boxing shit growing up and whatever, which that kind of led to actual fist fights later on. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 You, know the you slapped me too hard. <laughs> slap you a little too fucking hard. You yeah. embarrass me. It depends who watches. Yeah, yeah. 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 Travell Williams, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> Travell Williams. <laughs> Travell Williams. I know dude. he played football. My girl was watching. <laughs> this motherfucker is seventh grade, yeah. dog. Let me tell you about this shit. <laughs> Day was hot as fuck. I remember I had this red fruit. I re I'm so mad. I still remember this shit. Travell Williams, shout out to you. I'm pretty sure you're a nice man now. <laughs> probably not. You're probably still a piece of shit. But he, um, 
I had this like red fruitopia in my hand, right? Remember that fruitopia oh, drink? Yeah. That shit was sugary and delicious. That was very sugary. That was the next best thing to Kool Aid. It was like fancy yeah. Kool Aid. And so I was drinking that shit. This motherfucker slapped that shit out of my hand. And that shit cost me a whole dollar. I was pissed. Oh, yeah. And he was like, we try slap box out of nowhere. Like, mm -hmm. legit out of nowhere. There was no lead up to this conversation. Yeah, yeah. Like, we weren't even tight like that. We ain't got no warm up. <laughs> and this fool just wanted to slap box out of nowhere. And he slapped me right in my face in the quad. And everybody's watching. I can't just take a slap in the no, face. No, you got mm -hmm. yeah, no. I got to no, no. slap him back. Yeah, yeah. But this motherfucker fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Dog, I, I remember, like, trying to slap this fool, and I, I felt like I was in the Matrix. <laughs> this motherfucker was quick. Just, and don't let them be smiling while you're Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, dude. This motherfucker said, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, oh, and you no. try not to tear up a little bit while you yeah. get it. Oh, started getting frustrated. Yeah. I was like, ah. <laughs> I ain't getting mad. But, like, the slap boxing is so interesting. It's like, why were we doing this? There's no point in doing this. There's I don't know. no point. But every every neighborhood slap box for some yeah. reason. And I don't understand it. That and birthday hits. And birthday hits. I used to, yeah. I, I remember it was in high Scared school. Scared of birthday like we had, oh, yeah. There's this dude, shout out to uh, fucking Reggie. Reggie was like an international karate champion, right? And this motherfucker would give people birthday hits. I'm like, time out. You don't get to hit yeah, people. You don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. That fool would Not hit me, and then my spirit would pop out my back. <laughs> like, <sighs> just pop out of my body. And they would catch you on, like, the most off guard shit, hit you in your shoulder, in your chest. You, you got to run all school all day. day. The whole school day you running. I thought my birthday, I was supposed to just relax. Like, <laughs> no. I'm fucking, I'm chilling. Y'all trying to hit me? Like, like nah, I had to man. tell the homies, I'm like, listen, like, how long are we going to play until we're 60? Like, yeah, when like, is this stop? <laughs> this shit. You gotta sit everybody down. Listen, guys. Yeah. All what, right. What's going on? Like, Once we hit the double digits, this this ends. <laughs> like, we're not doing too this many one. hits now. Yeah, like, it's too many hits. That's, My body can't take this it. This was cool in elementary. In elementary, yeah. yeah. Five hits. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. That was 14 socks from 10 different people. <laughs> You know that's I mean? a lot. That's a lot of fucking hits. I would wake up just bruised all over my body, and then we're supposed to the next day. We're, everything's cool. Yeah. Like, nah, things aren't cool. Like, nah, you nah, fucked cool. me up, dog. It's like, I got cool. jumped in a gang yesterday, and this shit was way worse. Like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you, you used to pray that your birthday later on the weekend, <laughs> so you don't come to school. That's funny. Um, well, I did want to say that this podcast is um, it's gonna be it's a beautiful it's gonna be a beautiful podcast because. I always say this all the time that black and Asian babies are some of the most beautiful babies. They so are. we're making a good baby today. <laughs> we're making Dave, a, David Johnson. David Johnson. <laughs> I'm, 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 <laughs> David Jenkins. I'm waiting for that one like black and Asian kid that that uh, claims that he's Asian though. Like he always like cla oh like claims the, the Asian. The side. black gene is so fucking strong. It, they always strong. Yeah. claim that they're black. They never put on their SATs that it's gonna be fucking. It's Asian. always Tiger Woods yeah. never claim. I, we don't. We still don't know what's like. He, he what's can just claim name? that he's white at this point, dude. Yeah. That's cool. Every every time he speaks, I get disappointed, dude. Yeah, every time he speaks, <laughs> I get disappointed. But yeah, the, the the black. If anytime he makes black, he come out real strong, real either real dark or real. <laughs> With the Asian, I always you know I just see it in the eyes. Like that's, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not even being racist. It's just that's where that's where it's at. And it's funny time. too. Every time it's like a, a black and Asian person that's in a sport, the Asian side never gets the credit. They're like <laughs> it's because he's so black. You don't like, get the long jump credit yeah. or the, the dunking. <laughs> well, some y'all y'all got some good stereotypes though. One with cooking, yeah, usually good. Yeah. They can fight. You know, yeah, who yeah. doesn't want to look like they, you yeah, know, be able to fight. I don't know if I want to fight him. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'll tell you this. It's funny because I, I just talked about this too, where sometimes like I feel like everybody's in this like, I call it the oppression Olympics, right? Everybody's trying to uh, like battle black people for like oppression. They're like, oh, the you oppression Olympics. Like, oh, black people went through some shit. You know, Asian people went through <laughs> well, some shit what? too. I was like, hey That's man, just, let's, let's not let's not do this. You How know? about we just talk about the positive? We thing. all been oppressed, okay? Yeah. Like, yeah, like we're not gonna win forward. this argument. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. like, well, fucking Japanese people rape Korean people. It's like, it's like, yeah, but it's not in America, so nobody gives a fuck like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Like, literally nobody knows about that history except for us and, you know, a few other people. So yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. that oppression Olympics on Twitter is fucking unreal. Yeah, no, it's – but everybody everybody wants to have some type of negative thing going on with them. It's like, guys, we, we're not in a battle for this. Like, yeah. Uh, no uh, one wants to be the bottom yeah, of the oppression wants to pole. Be the bottom. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's not fun. Yo, that's why I was so happy about, like, coronavirus. Because, <laughs> like <laughs> – I've that's never funny. felt like the power of people being scared of me so much in my life, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, I would just, uh, and they're like, oh, fuck. And oh, I'm that just, mic's I'm, done now. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that mic is a wrap for that mic. Somebody's coming in right now. They just take the fucking foam off. They're like, nah, we're, we're good off of this that's shit, hilarious. dude. I was like, this is what black people feel like when they're in exactly. any type of, like, uh, any type of now retail you walk store. In the store you're, now you walk in the store and Asian people follow you around the store. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, hey, no, hold on. Like, oh, hold on. Excuse hold on. me. Hold on. <laughs> 
you is you going to buy? I'm like, me? Are you talking to me? <laughs> That's funny. We were about to talk about Corona because it's 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 wild now. It's wild. It's canceling things. It's canceling things. South by Southwest here. got canceled. I was like, okay, this I is think, serious. You think they gonna cancel Coachella? I'm I'm pretty sure. You got to. Coachella's nasty already as it yeah, is. Yeah, they said a, they had a herpes outbreak last year. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, don't a mi- rampant herpes don't outbreak. Don't mix that. First off, how did it just start running rampant throughout? Because people are having orgies out <laughs> like, there. Like that is just wild. Like Coachella's already dirty enough as it is. So yeah. I'm pretty sure Corona's gonna spread fast there, man. Shit. I, I feel like you have no choice because it's like if it gets worse, people are not gonna show up. You're gonna lose a lot of money. Yeah. Performers gonna pull out. You're gonna lose a lot of money. Yeah. So it's better just cut your losses. You know what was shocking to me? So my parents own. <clears throat> for people who don't, my parents own a Black Pizza Plus store. So. When that Corona shit happened, you wouldn't say, David. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. I knew this. I knew this. So everybody knows that the first of the month is when people buy fucking weed. That's the shit, That's right? The, yeah. So the first of the month for my parents now, they're like, nobody's coming in. That that never happens. Like people Be- just because of the corona. corona shit, people don't want to come out. So it's like, oh, what the fuck? Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I, I didn't think that it would have affected like weaves and shit. Yeah. No. The, do you think like it's almost getting to a point now where it's like. Are we gonna not be able to go outside like the movies? Like when we watch the movies and they have to stay inside. Remember a bird box? Oh, they yeah. couldn't. They couldn't go outside and shit. Are we gonna have to go outside wrapped up and? It's funny because a, a lot of the symptoms of the coronavirus is just like the flu, right? So yeah. the people that are passing away from are people who have pre-existing res- respiratory conditions uh, and they're or they're elderly moon, and they're moon, young. Yeah, so that's yeah, the same thing as the the flu. The difference is is that the coronavirus has a longer incubation incubation stage than the flu. So the flu is about a week. Coronavirus is about two weeks. Oh. And, and a lot of people just aren't going to the doctor either because they're thinking like, oh, it, yeah, I'll just I'm gonna blow through this. You know what the crazy thing is too? I didn't realize that when most people say that they have the flu, they don't have the flu. So I actually had the flu recently and i think mm-hmm. the last time i had it i was like maybe eight or seven yeah. years old i've never so, had it so the flu feels one, like yeah. god's taking you away now it like <laughs> like he just can't like i yeah it hurts bad Everything like, hurts. it actually feels like you're dying and yeah, i didn't man. i didn't like when i when i caught the flu symptoms like it's so you get when people say chills like you get that light lightweight when you have a cold yeah, yeah. it's like your body is shaking uncontrollably you have a high, high fever, but you're freezing at the same time, mm. and then your bones hurt. Like you're yeah, fucking. Sore, yeah. Like it's it's like that for five days straight, and if you make it past that, then you're alive. So uh, when I was talking to a doctor recently, I just got a checkup. Mm-hmm. He goes, "When most people say that they have the flu, they don't have the flu. Like the flu they just got like a some other type of cold, like like a severe a, cold. Got gotcha. you. Like a flu, like you know you, you have know the you flu. Like you cannot. You throw one up. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's yeah. Bad. It's it's fucking bad. So when I had that shit, my 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 best friend's a doctor. I hit this fool up. I was like, "Hey man, I'm dying." <laughs> he's like hey, no. what are your symptoms he's like you have the flu he's like stay inside and the, the crazy thing about the flu is with those symptoms there's really no medication that you can take that can make it better so Damn, they'll give bad. you some shit but it'll like shorten the symptoms of the flu by about maybe a day gotcha so the only and did it hit you out of nowhere or did you feel something coming uh, it kind of hit me out of nowhere. Yeah, got you. And like because I haven't had it in a while, I ignored the symptoms. Got you. So I was like, ah, oh, it's probably just gonna be a cold. I'm gonna take a hot shower and just wait it off. Yeah. yeah. Lo and behold, I almost died. I thought I was gonna die, dog. Damn. It shit fucking hurt, that's, man. Yeah, that's bad. That, and you start eating healthy as soon as you start getting sick. You don't want to eat healthy. It's too late. The <laughs> funny <laughs> thing about it is like we'll eat bad. And that'll cause sickness. But as soon as we sick, we start we, eating healthy. We, like, we get rid of the sickness. So I don't like, want nothing else. Healthy yeah. in the first place. Start yeah. chewing on lemons and shit. <laughs> yeah, like, just for no up. reason. I'll type and then it's and I just seen that some cruise ship just docked in California. They had twenty one cases on Corona on the cruise ship, and now they docked. And now they so now they bring it off the boat. Oh, fuck <laughs> that my, shit, my main dude. thing is Olympics. Olympics, yeah, that's coming. Yes, yeah, I wanted to go to that. It's in Japan. Yeah, it's in Japan. Like not just because in Japan, but this. In general, in, yeah. no matter where it was, I it's feel a like big event. this may get canceled. Have y'all ever been to Japan before? No, not yet. Really. Immediately when you guys go there, people are going to take pictures of you. They, oh, yeah, they, I mean, just, they just think that you're a celebrity automatically mm-hmm. if you're black. Yeah. It's the craziest thing. I mean, when we go in packs of groups anywhere, we're, <laughs> we're an R&B group or, or yeah, a basketball team. Yeah, we're in the airport, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's anytime. Just I'm like, people, what if, why can't we be scientists? You know, why do we have to be either sports or, or music? And you that's guys look like the do. R&B group and Emmanuel looks like the manager, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he just holds shit down all the time. That's like Emmanuel's like look. He do, yeah, it, it, that's what it looks like. But that's it's just funny. But it's just like all these events are getting canceled, and it's like and then the toilet paper is toilet yeah. paper. Is, people, people are going are crazy fighting over toilet fighting paper. over toilet paper. What, over what the, taking a shit. So what is the whole thing about people buying water and toilet paper? Because for? they think we're going to end up being quarantined. They think we're not going to be able to go outside. But like, th- it only lasts two weeks, bitch. 
Like, what the fuck you need all that toilet paper in two weeks? <laughs> they don't know how long it's going to last. Yeah, some people take a lot of shit in two weeks. A lot of people panic. It's funny, too, because some of the most hood people are buying all this toilet paper. It's like, you don't even feed your kids. Now you want to get, like, <laughs> buy like, you want fucking three years of toilet paper, bitch? You don't even pay your bills on time. Shut the fuck up. They're putting the cap on canned goods and toilet paper now. Oh, my oh, how God. much you can buy? Yeah. Where at? Uh, I, they, they didn't say what specific store, but it says stores are now starting to lock down canned goods and toilet Mass paper. Masks are sold out. Yeah, masks mask are sold out. And they already said these masks aren't really helping people. They Because they, they're buying the wrong ones. You have to get like the medical grade one with the filter yeah. and shit. And, and no, all those are sold out. Yeah. I had to get the other one. Yeah. I like better than nothing. I mean, it's better than nothing. Now, I'm yeah. going to Vietnam in, like, uh, uh, in the uh, beginning of April, too. So I'm just gonna see what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Get off the plane. What's good? <laughs> what's good out here. Okay, I'm over we're here. Good, we're good. We're good. Um, we're good. And then uh, we talked about LeBron. Uh, he said, I guess they asked. They were talking about maybe not having fans, but would, um, come to the arena where they might just have closed games. And LeBron said, well, I'm not playing for no. If nobody, there. if it goes too long, he's gonna play. That's yeah, what. Yeah, we will have no choice. Yeah. But if out of anything, I kind of want to see that. I just like, want to see an a empty, a empty arena. arena. It's going to be so it weird. Just you just going to hear the screeching of the shoes. I'm like that Nike commercial <laughs> when they used to make me. <laughs> Yo, did I LeBron uh, fix his hair a lot? Is that, is that, is that? He fixes his hair all the time. All the time. On and, and on. It's yeah. like Jamie Foxx. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He got a, a new hairline comes in every so often. Like it, it's it's like almost like a new sneaker. It comes in. <laughs> it just about. He has it. so much money. How come he can't get that fixed? I'm pretty sure they could do something about I that. I, I think you get to a point where you don't care, and then like somebody says something, and you're like, oh, let me think about it. Let me do it, and then you do it again, and then you don't but care. If there's again. any sport to go ball. It's basketball. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. Michael Jordan ball made that win in basketball. Yeah, like, yeah that's like Luke Luke went ball. He went bald. He just shaved that shit right off. Like right? who? Emmanuel. He, he yeah. shaved oh, yeah, that shit no, right off. Yeah, he. He went gotta ball. Gotta have a head for it. Yeah, he's he got a head for big head. See, that's the that's the blessing of black people though. Like when you guys just go bald, it just looks good. Like if I go bald, man, it looks like a bad. life choice. Like I'm a monk. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I just gave up sex my whole life. Like it's like a severe <laughs> <Life> choice. <laughs> it's like a severe life choice that I made. It's like damn. What you, like, you see, David? Look at him, man. He's doing. <laughs> He's just over there. He's look. He's gone. No, monk on us. I'm gonna say, David. Let me know when the book come out. <laughs> so I'm gonna read it. I love so much. Like look like he grew his virginity back. <laughs> and then, like the oh, fuck. She's ugly. That as is hell. funny. But I would. I would like to see that. Like I want to see how long he will hold out from playing. He can't. He can't. He can't because he is. Yeah. There's no way. But no it's way gonna him. be weird. No. No. Like someone doing vicious dunk and no sound. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> It's gonna be weird. <laughs> All right. Well, nobody wants to say anything. I don't man. think like I've seen a player as good as LeBron ever, man. Man, like, we just started. We were just talking about this morning. Like he's thirty six, thirty five, thirty five. He's just getting better that playing was, at this level. I'm gonna fuck on some sauce though. I bet. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. He don't. He didn't do shit for me. We've been watching him since he was eighteen. <laughs> I know, and he got better every year as he's getting older. That shit is crazy. Like they played the clip. I didn't get to watch the highlight, but can't say you watched the game. Like yeah. shit was crazy, Peace, man. I liked how like when he was playing. You know, sports analysts would talk shit about his game, like certain holes in his game. Yeah, yeah. But next season, he would fix it and be like, "Fuck you." Yeah. I'm like, "Damn, how good are you?" Yeah. Like when people talk shit about me, it just stays that way. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like nothing changes. It just stays that way. Like nobody, we can't have yeah. a conversation and you can be like, David, like you're a piece of shit and you curse too much. Yeah. And then the next day, I'm gonna stop cursing. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just more like no, but you these you're are, gonna you're gonna think about it. Like you're mm -hmm. gonna think about it, but you. I'm not gonna change you, it. You might bro. not change it. You might for yeah. sure. I've been trying to stop cursing since I was a pastor. Yeah, nah. since I was a pastor, <laughs> I was a youth. I was a youth minister just cursing at these kids, man. <laughs> oh man, now that that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. But you're right. He changes every he year. He puts a million dollars better. in his body. He, he invests a million. Do you think it's a million? He doesn't get hurt. Why not? Where do you invest a million at? I need to break this down. Where does the, the million trainers, come in the at? The food, the supplements, the traveling, all bringing these people with you okay. everywhere. Like okay. that could add up. Like that's not okay. a lot for if you a billionaire. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's close yeah. to a billionaire. See, we need so. to get somebody who has money that could tell us about this shit. This yeah. is this is once again a podcast about poor people. We're talking about from these levels. <laughs> <laughs> it's us making assumptions about what rich people do. Yeah, we said we're putting a million in his body. But it has worked. We put twelve fifty of food in our body. <laughs> we never had a major injury. <laughs> Yeah, outside of made. like that broken nose that yeah. time he wore a mask. I was broke when he was born though. That's different. Like, that <laughs> he, was, he got he a weird born. looking nose. So. But, yeah, he hasn't had a major injury. And it's just like, how long let's let's ask let me ask this. What's his retirement a predicting? What do you think is fifty two. Yeah. He's going right 50, now. If he, get, no, if he played a 52 at a high level, he'd go. It, yeah, he'd go. Yeah, but yeah, no, Vince Carter's still balling yeah, right Vince now. He's the oldest NBA yeah. player to do it. When right? I seen him on the court, I said, wait, 
Is that Vince Carter? <laughs> he's still dunking on people, And he's too. still dunking. Like, get out of here. Go home, Vince. But it's still a difference. Like, Vince ain't playing to the level yeah, LeBron's yeah, no, playing. Not. So, yeah. like, no. I feel like at least three more years. I'm going to give him 40. I'm going to give him 40. Tom Brady? I'm going to give him Tom Brady. Yeah, well, Tom Brady's still going. He's about to be 42. Or he is 42, one of the two. But I, Damn, man. I'm I wonder him 40. if he has, like, you know, because Kobe passed away. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. That shit still makes me sad. Yeah, man. But uh, I wonder if... I still don't see Kobe work ethic in LeBron though. You know, Kobe's what I mean? a different machine. He was a different. Like I feel like machine. he has one of the strongest work ethics in the NBA, but I don't think anybody has ever matched that that Mamba mentality. Yeah, I don't think nobody like yeah. football b- across the board. Like he was just different. He was. He was just, different. He didn't care what you thought. Yeah, he, did. he was <laughs> winning over everything. I'm gonna be he the did. best. Yo, like, you know what, what, so, what Shaq said? I, I heard some something about he told him one night uh, that when they lost. It was, a, it was some years back. They lost. He came in the locker room. He said, "Everybody take off my shoes. Y'all, y'all don't want to win." <laughs> My favorite one was Shaq. When Shaq said everyone was upset, they thought he was a ball hog. So he said, I'll, I'll talk to him. He said, you went to Kobe. He's like, Kobe, it's no I in team. And Kobe looked at him and said, but it's a me in that motherfucker. <laughs> <It's dumb. laughs> I said, that sounds yeah. like Kobe. And you got to have somebody like that on your team. And regardless of how bad they get on your nerves or, or how arrogant you think they are, they going to bring championship. They going to win. Like that's, that's You know what it. the funniest shit was when uh, – I'm. this is not funny, but it is funny. So when he died, mm-hmm. the helicopter shit happened. Right? Mm-hmm. I read so many tweets like, Rick Fox was in there too. I'm like, well, you got to bring Rick Fox in there. <laughs> you got to bring <laughs> Rick Fox like, in Rick there. Rick Fox died too. I, was, like, I started cracking up. I was like, why they got to do Rick Fox I know, like that? I know Rick Fox in the house. Like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, they, I, they started sending out tweets. like, I talked to Rick Fox. He's fine. Like, yeah. he's, like, he's like, Rick Fox is fine. I bet you Rick Fox was pissed. He's like, why does he want me to die? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're saying about uh, like LeBron has great work ethic, but like I said, I think Kobe's was just it's just an unmatched thing. It's, you can't even. The only other come. person was Michael Jordan. Yeah, it, yeah, that'd be yeah, that'd be the only other person. Yeah, like I just watched that. It's on YouTube. Michael Jordan when he retired, um, some rookie came in and said he can beat Michael Jordan, and one of the players told Michael he showed up at practice. Said, come on! Oh my god! It's on <laughs> YouTube. It you see them play one on one on YouTube. Was he? Mike, whenever he retired, thirty. Right, yeah, th- yeah. He could, it was like mid thirty. Yeah, he wasn't even a year in retirement. He showed up, played yeah, him, we'll and said, that. "Don't call me out here no more." Yeah, Wilton said, "Don't call me out he here said, no you more." See, while he playing, he said, "You see them banners." He was telling That's what me. he was gonna do while he was playing. He's like, "All right, I'm back down." I'm All of this is on YouTube. <laughs> You can watch it. I wish I was so good at something that I could do that. Yeah, you can I don't, tell them what you're going to do. I don't have that type of confidence in anything that I do. <laughs> you can't just get on the mic and be like, all right, about this. what I'm about to say is about to make you laugh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, I don't have a single amount of confidence in anything that I've done in my life, but maybe failing. Like, I could fail real well. <laughs> but, like, other than that, like, I can't, like, do that. I can't get up, even when I do stand-up, yeah, right? Yeah. I can't go up and be like, for sure, everybody's going to die laughing. Well, what, 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 what we do is different, though. Yeah. Uh, there's no way. We can't, we because it's so subjective. Oh, that's right. We it, can't it's, control. It's, yeah, we can't control. Like, you might be killing it. Your jokes might be fire. Crowd just might not be good. That's what I always tell myself when I'm bomb. <laughs> that's what I always tell myself. Crowd <laughs> might not be good. Because uh, <laughs> some of the greatest comedians have terrible nights sometimes. Like, I don't, yeah, yeah, but basketball, like yeah, a sport you, is undeniable. That's well, I score 50 on you. Yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, and pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. But it just looked funny. He backing him down. Like, yeah, so I'm about to make a spin move here. And hey, you know what the worst thing is, though? I mean, you guys wouldn't know this, but it's like when, I, when I'm playing ball and then we doing pick up ball and I pick up the black dude and he can't play ball, I get so mad at him. I'm like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> how you gonna wear, represent? I was like, how you going to wear a fucking shooter sleeve and be on this court like that? <laughs> Take that shit off, bitch. Like, you over here in the outfit and the, in the mascot costume of a typical just, black man and then you can't shoot a ball. Fuck that, you. We yeah. should make a rule. Like, if you come on the court, dress. That's fancy. You got to give up your gear if you can't ball. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you got. You, you got to go home. Like you ball and you can't. You got to give up. Let you got to go get home. Shoes. I was so mad at him, dude. I was like, I was about to undo his fucking cornrows, dude. I'm like, take this shit off, bro. You when over you, here, like, you know what? When you playing though, do you feel like whoever like is like I got him that they looking at you like you not gonna like you not gonna ball? Yeah, but they right. But it's like, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm See, not tripping. <laughs> he was playing my role. I was like, that's gotcha. my role, bitch. Gotcha. Like, you're supposed to be good. That's why I picked you that's up. What, yeah, gotcha. This was over here doing the fucking thigh stretch and everything. He's like wiping down the bottom of his shoes like the grip was going to do anything for his shot, bitch. Like, you suck. <laughs> I'm the opposite. I want the person that doesn't look good because I don't want to run. Let me tell you. I'm, yeah. out, I'm out of shape. Let me so tell I don't you. want the best player. We, we had to play at VidCon this past, uh, vid, uh, yeah, past VidCon. They had a pickup game. We thinking it's going to be like a YouTuber versus YouTuber thing. Fine, cool. We get there. They split us up. It's um, me and Mike are on one team. They put all the rest of the guys on another team. 
Now, we all had just drank the night before. Everybody. Oh, everybody's hungover. Hung over on the court. Everybody's hungover. Everybody. Cam guards me, which I I expected him to because I wasn't about to go out there doing a bunch. I'm like, I got wrong. I I'm know he's not running. I'm not about to do a bunch <laughs> of runs. think when you Bro, get the look. Look, mm-hmm. listen. I kid you not. It was one dude, Tr- Tristan, I think his name is, the mm-hmm. white guy, that he, this is what he does on YouTube, play basketball, do trick, trick layups, shots. He's, all type he's of shit. great. Oh, he's the one with, he's a little curly-headed fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's out good. the gate, tip the ball, he runs down the court. Do it, does it? I said, oh, he he playing, playing. Yeah. Oh, like, twice thank up, God he on my Twice team. up the court. <gasps> <laughs> that gets good, no, though. That's sh- but like that's what I'm saying. But we I'm uh, we out there thinking like, oh, we about to have a little fun. No, no, he out there playing, and now it's a full on game. Twice up the court, David. My sh- my lungs are on fire, dog. <laughs> lungs are on that fire. That cardio ain't no joke in that's basketball. Shit. Even if you do cardio at the, at the gym all day, it don't mean nothing. That up and down that court is a different. That's why you you have a newfound respect for these basketball players. They out there and they on they on people like I'm. I'm not guarding Steph Curry. Oh, for you sure. You got to run up and down. I'm not guarding. That's too much work. Imagine soccer players. Oh God, that just sound, all that. They'd sounds, be running all you gotta, game. That's when you just start socking people on the court, dude. <laughs> that's it, dude. Just, just start socking people. Them. I remember once Adam was coming up the court and he was dribbling. I was in front of him guarding. He was like, wrong move before I throw up. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so funny. Everybody was all over, dog. It was, That's it was, You know what the dope thing is? That's the dope thing about age. Like, you just start to become real with yourself. Yeah, you don't care. Like, when you're young, you have a lot of ego. Yeah. When you're tired, you just push through it. Yeah. Once you hit 30, you don't push through shit. Nope. I'm not mm. doing anything. No. I go, times out. Yeah. I've been in kickboxing. <laughs> Somebody stopped me in the fifth. I went, that's, yeah. He goes, there's no timeout. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, fuck, I'm paying you. Time out. <laughs> yeah. Time yeah. Stop. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, stop. Like, yeah. good. You hit yeah. me a little too. I don't like that. Yeah. yeah. I was like, this is a new garden. No, I'm saying I'm done. That is very true. I never thought about that. Way. As a kid, you got it's a lot of ego. Like, I'm going to push through. I'm going to fight. Oh, no, girl, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. Don't want to come inside as a kid. Oh, yeah. And even now I want to stay inside. <laughs> exactly. Let me, let me check the weather. Like, well, how hot is it? Nah, nah. We yeah. Yo, you see that shit? Like, there's, I, I rarely see like kids outside. No, they yeah, like, got too they much just, technology. Like, they just don't fucking play outside. They, yeah, they, yeah, they don't. It's they so don't. weird. Like I feel, I wonder if my kids are gonna, you know, be. I want them to be active. It's, but you have to do. You have to do that though. Oh, you got to be the one. To, <laughs> now you got to be active. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't oh, think all the way through. Yeah, like, nah, nah, like, nah fuck. fuck that shit. I'm gonna get my kid a phone. <laughs> fuck it. Speaking of someone who about to get active, the booty warrior. Is about to get out of prison. What? That's what? That's what? I know the booty, the booty warrior. Know the booty yeah. warrior. If I see that ass, I'm gonna get that ass. I'm gonna get yes. that ass. Yeah. If I like you, <laughs> I, I won't. You. First thing I thought, the person who should be most terrified by this is Aaron Magruder. Because yeah. if I'm the booty warrior, I'm like, oh, you think this is funny? You think it's funny? Yeah. First person when I get out, I'm coming to see you. Come. Imagine you going in your house with Aaron Magruder and you see him walking up. You oh, scared? Yeah. Oh, my Magruder, I'm about to get in that big booty. How do y'all booter. know the booty warrior is coming out of prison? <laughs> To get in that big booter, Aaron McGruder. <laughs> <laughs> but he was terrifying because he was so serious in the documentary. No, he was dead like, ass. If I want you, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm a booty warrior. That, that was the That's first time uh, I learned about what pants sagging was for it's to get fucked in the ass yeah, yeah. i didn't know that that shit was on some gay shit yeah no, like, it's, that's what it is like nobody nobody told anybody that when everybody was doing that in school it was like oh you're trying to get fucked yeah, but, but he, back then it was because it was meant to be a cool thing but and we didn't know you didn't know no history behind it but he said it he gave it he's like see y'all don't know that that came from prison like these young kids they come in here and they don't know when they pants sagging that's a green light for me I like it's a booty. green light. You know, anybody that's like, anybody is, that's talking that smooth about fucking you in the ass, it's you should be happen. afraid of. You should be afraid and of. And he ends that sentence with, "I ain't gay though." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, but the thing is, now I'm thinking like because he the OG booty warrior, he got booty goons like Ray J said when he did that interview with uh, Charlamagne and Gr- Gr- Breakfast Club. Greatest, greatest he interview. got booty goons that's probably out here gonna hold you down for it. like he like. Mama send my booty goons to come get you now. now that I'm see, out of if you jail. see him walking up smoking a cigarette, two other dudes on you, you're going to be scared. scared. That's scary. That's, that's you fucking gonna be scary. scared. Y'all see that uh, clip of Charlemagne talking about how he eats ass? Yeah. That shit is so funny. He goes, he goes, see, that's why I don't, I, that's why I eat ass because it's cleaner than a mouse sometimes. <laughs> and then paused and it went, whoa. <laughs> well, everybody's like, what the <laughs> fuck did you just say right now? <laughs> it's just like, so now. Do they, they say when is when is he getting out? I didn't see. Either, I, either, I should have clicked on. Oh, okay, I just kept okay. seeing it. I was like, "This is just no, funny." It is I wrote funny. it down to go back and look. But anybody, like, who, I don't know. Who, anybody who hasn't seen it, you, is this on YouTube? Like, you it's can, on YouTube. You can go on see it. Like, you, it's, 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 it's one of the everywhere. most frightening, most hilarious things I've ever yeah. seen in my life. Yeah, because a man is like pretty much telling you, like, I don't care what you're talking about. He said, "If I'm I get want that, but 
I'm going to get you. Well, let me let me put you in a situation right now. All right. You guys go to prison, yep. right? You have a choice. You're in the shower. Yep. Either you get stabbed once or you have to suck a dick for five seconds. Which one would you do? Oh, yeah, stab. Stab. That's yeah, right. Stab. You guys, yeah, man, stab. I would have sucked that stab. dick so fast. You have no idea. <laughs> I'm over here already on my knees. I, got, I was like. I got to get stabbed. The only way, they going to have to knock me out. They I'm fighting in every situation. They're going to knock me out. That's what it is. I'm going to kegel my asshole yeah. real fast and snap I'm that dick off. Either, either I'm coming in there being the funniest inmate ever, so oh, yeah. everyone love me. Or I'm gonna be the dirtiest inmate. I ain't showering, so nobody wanna mess with me. <laughs> Booty boy gonna be like, I don't know about that one guy, Cameron. He's dirty. He's dirty. You smell like home, is what he's gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna fuck you, dude. This is gonna like home. <laughs> That's just prison. We always talk about this in the podcast. It's just one of those things. It's one of my top five fears. Like I'm not trying to go yeah, to prison. Like I, it's just, I refuse to go to prison, I'm just man. Not. Especially not off nobody else is doing. At least That's, you got some training now. Yeah, I mean, at least a little bit. It ain't gonna happen. I'm soft, bro. Like I just people <laughs> always they just gonna test me all the time. I'm gonna get tired. I'm just so, like, you know what? Just fuck me, man. At this <laughs> point, man, I can't do this every day. I can't day. do this. I'll defend myself for a solid year. After that, you that's what I said. You're gonna have no, no, a limit where you're gonna be like, all right, I'm tired. The key is the first time. You gotta set the precedent right off top. Yeah. Whoever the first one to try, you just gotta go. No matter who they are, <laughs> you, you gotta, gotta hit go. You gotta hit it first. Hold on. You gotta hit him first. And Honestly. hopefully, you, you say, hopefully this works. Hopefully. I'm just gonna walk in just to let you know I'm snatching dicks. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm say gonna, some outlandish shit. If I see your dick, I want you. I'm a, I'm a happy. I'm a happy. But see, dude. that's gonna start problems because there's gonna be some, you ain't snatching mine. <laughs> and now, and now you gotta now fight. You ain't snatching mine. Because now you gotta prove you're gonna do it. Yeah. So I heard, um, so um, one of my business partners actually went to prison. Uh, really, you would never know. He's like the nicest dude ever, but he, he went to prison for You're not for talking some... about who we know. No. no. <laughs> okay. I ain't gonna say his name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. He went to prison for like smart shit, so he was like, uh, he would do a home raid, home invasions, but he was like the mastermind behind it. But he, when he went to prison, like he told me that when you go to prison, you have to go with your race. That's immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's yeah. no race missing, mixing at all, yeah. and you need to do whatever they tell you to do because that's protection immediately. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> he told me like the first thing that he did, he had to start doing push-ups because he had to go with the Asian people and they just started making him do push-ups and shit. That's and you just like, you know, it's like, what the fuck, man? Like that whole shit, like hold my pockets, bitch. I'm yeah. like, all right. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's two, like I said, Cam said, it's two ways. It's either A, you got to come in there with the fuck it mentality or you got to come in there and, and like I said, get with your people and just try to follow as many directions as you can without getting in anybody's way. But, How long did he get? Uh, he was in there for a year and Oof. then they were actually like, Grooming him to to fight another inmate, so that's why they're making him do pushes. <laughs> <laughs> like it's that's the sucky part. Like you you start training, you're like, hey, well, what do you, what do you guys got me doing? Oh, you about to fight the biggest dude in here? We just make you train for a little while. Like, so fuck. So they basically, I guess, what he was telling me is like they kind of make like the fresh bitches like fight each other, and so they basically kind of that's like their gambling thing. That's yeah, like their yeah, off time yeah. fun. So they were like training them on the side so they could fight, like but, ra raising chickens, like fighting chickens. Exactly. It was like it was cockfight pit bull fighting type of shit and so but before that fight happened he actually got out for like whatever good behavior oh, or his lawyer got him out I know he was so relieved exactly Man. so he, he changed his life after he went to like an Ivy League college after that oh, and everything absolutely. else like his, his, his pops basically uh, from what I remember picked him up from jail took him out took him to Skid Row and kicked him out he goes this is the life you want to live peace and he just dropped him off and left Listen. And then after that, like it changed his whole life. All like, you need is one time, one time to go and. I, I would so, wait, wait, wait. Before you pull off, I just came from prison. <laughs> you I learned my I lesson. Know, I know. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, I don't let need, me back in this car. Yeah. I am sorry. That's I'm good. going to wherever is the cleanest area. I'm not doing nothing. No. Asian people don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> they they beat your ass over and over. <laughs> I stopped getting my ass beat last year, dude. I'm fucking 31. Uh, <laughs> like if it I just seen stopped. David getting beat. That just. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, dog. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds a little abusive, but it's kind of funny. I remember my last beating from my mom. Like she was beating me with her hand. I was like 11. I was like, it's over. Yeah, it's over. You done? It don't Damn, hurt no more. It stopped at 11. It stopped at 11. Because it didn't yeah. hurt no more. I'm yeah. like, it's over. Same really? thing for me. They didn't start using bats and shit. No, um, my my. They would use belts, but I'll say my mom usually, you know, it's what you got her hand. So then I was like. Oh, it's my over. mom found tactics. So after it's she over. found out that like like punching and shit wouldn't really work, Duh. like. <laughs> Like socking me wouldn't work. She started uh, getting nails and she started pinching me like fucking hard. Ah. And so I would like bleed and like mm. it would bruise up. Them My mom's fucking like, crazy, dude. The pinches they were. Is she is she short? She short as fuck. Yeah, okay. And she, after a she, while, she I remember wild, feisty. she realized how big I was because she hit me with this shoehorn and it snapped in half. And then she just started laughing. She's like, "Oh, you're getting to that size now." And she's got a bigger weapon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she gotcha. just upgraded. She's like a like a RPG character, dude. She just. <laughs> 
<laughs> like she comes out with something he just new. Keeps, he just keeps pulling out new yeah. shit. The threat for me, I'm going to tell your dad. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right chill right, out. Now, right, you, right, now you're going too far, bitch. Hold on. This, <laughs> this is an island man. You know they crazy. Like, My dad right. would do some weird shit, too. Like, I remember, like, because he was an insomniac, so he would never sleep. But he would forget sometimes that I would, like, go to field trips and shit. But he would confuse that with me sneaking outside of the house. Yeah. So, like, sometimes the field trip would be super early in the morning because we have to drive all the way well, from Sacramento to, like, Vallejo mm-hmm. to go to Six Flags. And that shit was, like, whatever, a two-hour drive. So I have to leave, like, at 4 a.m. in the morning. And this fool would just be sitting up awake in the dark, no lights, eyes open. And he just goes, where are you going? And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like you in a- <laughs> go to sleep, bitch. Like a ghost in here. <laughs> like, what you- I'm like, I have a field trip. He goes, oh, what's a field trip? You signed the slip. You, yeah, <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't be worried about it. That fool had an ass whooping on layaway all the time. Like, he was just layaway. waiting for me to fuck up. Like, he beat my ass so much as a kid. That's why when I remember when I was, like, in third grade, I got jumped. And this was, like, one of those, like, shining moments in my life yeah. where these kids jumped my ass. I'm sorry, not the third grade. It was uh, seventh grade. Excuse mm-hmm. me. Third grade is when I stabbed that kid. So seventh grade, this kid <laughs> this kid uh, jumped me because he remembered when I stabbed him in third grade. And he kept that anger with him for four years till we met it when we were 13, 12. Yeah, we don't have kid therapy. We don't have kid therapy. We don't know I thought how to when deal you with trauma. Kid, you just get over shit. Oh, no, 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 not no, no, no. Not stabbing. No, I didn't know that shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this fool, he decides to jump me at the bus stop. I remember when he socked me, I just got hit in the face and I looked at him and I started smiling as a kid because I was like, I just got beat with a bat yesterday. Like a kid punch doesn't fucking yeah, hurt. Yeah, it ain't. nothing. So I just started wailing on his ass and he ran into the bus and I just remember thinking, my, I was like, I'm kind of glad I got my ass whooped mm-hmm. because no matter what you put me through, getting your ass beat with a fucking bat, oh, yeah, that that's shit the, don't that's hurt. That's different. Oh yeah, you you on a whole nother level. You that shit was level. baby daps on my face, dude. <laughs> Maybe that. Yeah, just said bop bop. I was like, mm, okay. well, I don't, I don't need it. I, I'm, I'm good. Um, I want this just popped in my head. I want to ask you because you talked about your parents and your life. You, uh, you are engaged or are you married? Or I'm you just, engaged. You're engaged. Yeah, gotcha. I still have the option to leave. Yeah, gotcha. No, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> I'm, contract. I, I love you. He's, he, he's playing. He's playing. Yeah, playing. <laughs> so basically, you're just tagged right now. You're not under contract <laughs> in, in sports. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. just tagged. Um, franchise tag. What I was gonna say is, now that you're engaged, because it's always funny how when you first meet somebody, you hump like rabbits. Mm-hmm. Then you know you get in a relationship. It's still pretty solid, but I hear that it tails off. Where are you at in your relationship when it comes to man, your sexual stuff? Sex is so interesting. That shit tiring as fuck now, man. <laughs> That's just exhausting. You know what I mean? Like, I feel, yeah, I feel. because like when you when you when you first start a fresh relationship, right? When you fuck, you just want to fuck all the time. Yeah, yeah. Now it's like now it's a car that you kind of gotta. It's a little worn down a little bit. She's not yeah. worn down. Yeah. But in the same in the in the analogy, they get energy. We get depleted. Is that we gotta we gotta figure out how the car works now. It's like okay, well you want to have sex? Can I get a massage first? Oh fuck, man, I can't. Like, I'm over here. I'm like, oh, yeah, let the car warm up a little bit. I'm over here fucking cracking my knuckles again. It's like, ah, yeah. oh, God. Yeah, but you know, it's it's still really good. Yeah, it's yeah. just like now. Like I like you got her. responsibilities too. I also just I love her now too. So it's like, gotcha. l- let's just not use her as an example. Like there's a previous girlfriend that I that I, that I loved as well, mm-hmm. right? And there's a certain point where when you love somebody, like coming on their face is not really an option. <laughs> it's like you gotta, you gotta second guess it now. I'm not talking about you like uh, not my fiance. I'm talking about the girl before. So yeah, the girl. Yeah. I remember there's a moment I was like, I'm a nut in that face, and I looked at it, I was like, I love you, and I just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kind of like leaned it off to the side a little bit. It's like, I'm just going to come on those titties instead. <laughs> and I just, you know, I was like, I respect you. And I just come on a nipple. Beam. On a nipple. And I was like, oh, you know what? I'm kind of tired today. Like, I don't, I don't feel like I have to validate this relationship by with, sex uh, now. Yeah, like, I should is, just yeah. enjoy your presence. Yeah. Like, I don't have to have sex with you. Yeah. It's other parts of intimacy that just yeah, for sure. a touch or just a cuddle may be good. Yeah. Also, too, sometimes like women use like sex as a weapon. So like when they give it to you, they're like, "Well, remember last time I sucked your dick?" It's like, why you gotta use it as a weapon? Yeah, hold like, on. Why? That's, that's just well, that's in the that's in the program. Yeah. That's, that's in the I, syllabus. And I gotta correct this. Everything I'm saying is not with the woman I yes, am now. Yeah, no, we got it's you. the previous we, one. No. I will never talk shit about her on an open <laughs> thing like this because she'd kill me. <laughs> but the last girl, she would yeah. use like blowjobs like weapons. Like she would use it like money in the bank. She was like, uh, like so yeah, she was yeah. being a fucking asshole. She goes like, "Well, you won't complain when I was sucking your dick." It's like. Well, but nobody's going to complain. Uh, no yeah, one's going to complain. I can't complain when I'm coming. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Nobody's going to complain. I'm not going to. Yeah, gonna... I'm trying to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 one, two. Like, one, two. <laughs> like, I hated that shit because she would, every time, like, it was like, she would do, she would think as if it was a favor. It's yeah. like, well, did you not enjoy it? Is my dick came that yeah. bad? Like, oh, fuck. We got to like, stop. You know what? We got to, 
ladies, we gotta stop using it as a as a bank account with, for excuse. We can't we can't do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's just in it's in the syllabus it's in the program it's in the contract it's in the contract we know what we signed up for we have, got it have you ever had a woman tell you tell you that your dick game was trash trash like it wasn't good like that shit was shit, like shit no I don't think trash. so not no, me neither dude. <laughs> 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 yo, me neither, like, yo, me I don't neither, know what bro. that feels like. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just asking questions here. Hey, so thanks for watching the podcast. Uh, this, is, uh, this, is, uh, comedy, this is a comedy trap out. Uh, it ain't gonna get funnier than that. Leave it on there. Leave it on there. It ain't gonna get funnier than that. You got it. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, Never. Uh, you guys just been good since day one. No, I ain't saying no, every no. experience has been good, but yeah. no one just said it straight up. Yeah, yeah. Trash. Trash. Like, yeah. yeah that's crazy. All right, moving on. So. Uh, Drake is uh, suing this company for his owl. That sounds so funny. And How you gonna sue a company for an animal that's been around it's for a eons? It's, uh, Drake's OVO is suing company with similar owl trademark. And my one question is, who? <laughs> Great dad joke. Great corny dad joke. <laughs> Talk to Kev on stage for sure. <laughs> He's, it's basically an Australian-based company is ripping off the OVO symbol on their merchandise. I guess it's similar. I guess the width is similar. People have been telling them about this company since like 2013, but I guess bunch now, of snitches. I guess now that they have merch, it's coming out on the merch, and so it's starting to really. And they think they're Messing trying to the mimic. Money. They're trying to mimic the OVO owl in Nobody's order to get. Buy you that have a shit. picture. You have a picture. So they have a video. Um, I like how you got this big ass screen behind you, and then you go bring it up on the <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, no, we don't. You, you, we're not that advanced. <laughs> we don't have a Jamie uh, like uh, uh, Joe Rogan. Know, like that, Joe, that Joe Rogan podcast not experience. Yet. This is their owl. Okay, it's kind of simple. It is. I can, I can, I can see. It, but like, I've seen like fucking white girls with a tattoo like that. <laughs> yeah, like mean, that's a white girl tattoo. But I know that brand. What's just funny? Bel- Belroy. Yeah. I've seen that before. Yeah. So I don't know. If, I think the case just started. Who came first? Who came first? Yeah. Who came first? That's a good one too. Um, I think. You know what? I think Drake. I think Drake had the OVO. I think Drake. Had but the here, OVO. here's the thing, though. That's like saying. Like whoever runs Drake's company, that's fucking dumb because that's like saying like a, a competitor to somebody stole like Nike Swoosh. Yeah, nobody's gonna cop that janky ass fucking knockoff. You know what I mean? That's a generic brand. True, but with the out, it looks so like you wouldn't like if I was just to grab the shirt, you might be like, oh, this is that OVO. But then you look at the tag, I'm like, oh, it's not because well, it's you like, just dumb as fuck then. It, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, you it's, deserve that shit. You it's dummy. funny. It's certain brands I don't really care. Like OVO is not something I'm looking like. Yeah, hey, I need to those go are get just me OVO. Fan. Those, those are hard those Drake. Just, Hardcore yeah. Drake well, it's also young fans. Drake doesn't know how to be a fan himself. Like <laughs> that motherfucker just he hops teams all the time. I love your music though, but you whack. Like I, I think he's I, I dig his fucking music, but yeah. him as a person, uh, just he's like corny to me a little bit. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people think. Okay, it's not just me, yeah, that's yeah, right. no, it's but, but I love his that. fucking music. Oh, no, like, yeah, I love that's his shit, undeniable. Man. Yeah, yeah. That's we just want to talk about that too. His some of his a music lot of leaked. His music leaked this past Over week. Oh, really? Listen. It's gonna be the same shit though. It's talking about him like being a shit ass man and how much women are better. You know, some of the songs about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Did it you? took me three days to listen to it. I'm like, I don't want to listen. I just want it. I want it the right way. And I like, I caved in. A lot of it was some old stuff. So oh, it ain't an album. Okay. This is a bunch okay. of leaks. But some of it, they had, he had one song with Bryson Tiller. I really like. Pretty solid. I'm like, this is a good song. Bryson Tiller got that magic touch though. Like he just he, yeah, he like stays Bryson. in his pocket. It's just dope. I don't know. He, he don't have no. He don't have no new. Yeah, but yeah, he just got Jack, Jack Arlo though. He introduced us to him. Oh yeah, this is true. Ain't, ain't Jack under yeah, his label? Yeah, I think he's You know, I just looked up the other day how old Usher was. That uh, Usher is now. He's forty two, man. He's only forty two. He's. I thought he was younger. I thought it was, mm-hmm. might have been a little bit older. Oh, okay, uh, he's been out for a long time. Yeah, Usher been out for a long time. time. So like, I, so, I don't think he's yeah. ever dropped something that I hated. Like, not that I hated, no. Nah. Yeah, not not. Maybe it might be some stuff you might be like, oh, I don't need not to even the it. last album. I actually kind of like a lot of songs on yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, wasn't that wasn't bad? He either. made that big mistake when he was in the sauna and decided to take a dick pic. Did you see that shit? No, bro, mm-hmm. David, it's, where it's, you be at on the huh? internet? Yeah, I gotta jack off the weird shit sometimes. You know what I mean? I'm a, I got, I got a fiance. Y'all don't know what that's like. <laughs> he said I need some adventure sometimes. <laughs> you you can't that's wait till she go out the house. Just, How long are you gonna be gone? Yeah, you gonna, yeah. You gonna okay. be gone like an hour? Or is, okay, you going to Whole Foods? Oh yeah, you are gonna be gone for a little that's while. That's the only time I care enough to ask her questions to see how long she's gonna be gone. <laughs> how long? Twelve minutes? Tw- how? I can do that. I can yeah. do twelve yeah. minutes. I'm gonna take out the trash. Is it twelve minutes from when you get out the door, or was it like once you get in the car, twelve minutes? He look outside, wait for the car to come out of the garage. He look out the window. They pull up. <laughs> he got a tire. Go. Go. <laughs> no, but he, he put up this like selfie and people started fucking trashing him because 
he was trying to show, you know, he was trying to be sexy and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he uh, put an emoji over his dick. Yeah. But it also revealed his skinny ass legs. That <laughs> shit. It, he looked decrepit. You as know you fuck. can't win on the internet. You, you just, I got skinny legs too. I just got back in the gym. I gotta get my legs. So. Yeah, you, you can't. You, but but he was trying to be sexy, man. It's just you know the R&B singer. That's R&B part singer. Of the that's part of the country. You gotta be sexy. <laughs> that's how confident he is though. He got a big ass dick. He went angled up. I would I would angled down. Yeah. You know what? You know here. Let's <laughs> talk about like this for a second. So like under boob. <laughs> let's talk yeah, about this for a second. Nobody <laughs> talks about the. Geometry that goes into taking dick pics because you can't just take it in any any direction, like because you know some and things the work, are different. You got to be aroused. You, you gotta be sending a soft you gotta picture. A, you gotta be at least sixty percent. You ain't sending a soft picture. I'll no. be a hundred percent real. I've never sent a dick pic before. You've never sent a dick pic. I've, I've, sent, I've been with some wholesome bitches, dude. They don't want that shit. I, I see. The, the funny thing is, like the women that I truly care about, I yeah. would never send them a dick pic. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. trashy to me, and I've only. But women I never gave a fuck about because they didn't give a fuck about me either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no reason to send a dick pic because it yeah, was just yeah. hit it and quit. But like, I don't on. think there's nothing oh, wrong with it if it's if it's it can't be unsolicited. It can't be out here just saying unsolicited. Mm-hmm, but if y'all mm-hmm. if you were the person you're dealing with sexually in the conversation, they like you know let me see some. I don't see nothing wrong with that. But people who are just out here sending random dicks <laughs> is wild. The one I've sent it was a joke and it was someone I messed with, so they already seen it. So yeah. they were, we was just playing around. We had a good sense of humor. Just like um, what you make, what's gonna be for. Dinner. What you making me for dinner? Well, I said, <laughs> that's solid. Like, that's yeah. solid joke. It was that's, just that's funny. Good. That's good. I Man, thought that, you said a salad. I was no, like, that's, that's, no, a, no, no, no. that's a salad joke. That's a it's salad a joke. A dick on some greens. <laughs> dick on greens. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. But you gotta have certain angles. Like, like you said, you can go, you can go, you can go up. You can go. You can put it on the floor if you yeah. want to. You can go aerial. Just don't put your face in it. You can go Google Maps <laughs> view. So you yeah. can't have a low angle in your face in it. Too. No, because you look stupid already. You look stupid. You, you, you look stupid. How you gonna try to be cute with the Like what facial expression are you supposed to do? <laughs> do you look off? Like into the sun? You know what like, I would do? I would put it I would put my Do you point di- it the way you look? <laughs> do you point the- I would put my dick next to it like a oddly sh- like an oddly small fruit so it looked bigger than it actually is. That's, that's like, good. You got the optical illusion. I'll put it next you to a do? fucking tiny watermelon, but it looked like a real size watermelon. <laughs> They're like, damn, that shit's huge. No, no, it's not. And then you may have to shave, you know, yeah, you, because yeah. you know they say that makes it look bigger. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot of a lot, a lot of, of geometry, a lot of the physics that goes into taking the correct dick pic. Uh, then do you do put a, a filter print. on. Do a, do a print. <laughs> yeah, do, do, yeah, do a print. Do a print. You're better off doing a print. The dick is the ugliest thing on fucking earth. That shit is disgusting looking, man. It, I don't. Yes, yes, but, but also vaginas good. Not but, all those look yeah, pretty. Yeah, not not all That's those. That's true good. too. Some look good. I don't like like here's here's my thing. Don't send me a very up close of your vagina. Yeah, just you, back it up no, a little bit. You can send it. No, you can send it. But I just back. I need you to back it up I'll a little bit. It, it just, <laughs> I'll take anything. I'll take anything. It doesn't matter what it is. It's more about the thought that you're thinking about no, me enough sure. to send me this. But here's the thing. I, I, I need to also be able to make it out. It can't look like Runyon Canyon. It's just a lot of browns and <laughs> going in. I don't know what's. You so after the fire, before it's, the fire? This is just after Brush. the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what it, To answer your question about the, Do you put a filter Yeah Use the one that crushed the blacks That's oh, always gosh, going You, you gotta know, crush the blacks Okay that, that makes sense and stuff If you send in a print Okay I guess. yeah yeah You gotta Yeah you crush gotta knock blacks. down The saturation Crush the blacks Yes All right, really, You gotta be very confident About your penis To send out a dick pic too Yeah it's very I mean, true There's like a good confidence it's And it's like This person wants to see this mm-hmm. And it's worth Fucking seeing It's better if somebody Already seen it Honestly. Yeah, there's yes. like there's like it's more less to it. pressure. Unless but. that shit is just like the ideal looking like textbook penis, <laughs> and you could just send it out to anybody. Like even look. a dude would be like, "That's a nice it's looking dick." But <laughs> like, like, us too, when when you have so many followers, you can't just be sending dick pics. Like Not just if, off if, the if, rip. If, like you, you, if you just you know you just out here living a regular life, you know no one identify you. People know what my some of my room looks like. Yeah. So I could just not show my face. Like, wait, that's your carpet. That's your socks. I know yeah, them socks. Know that was in the skit. That yeah, was in the video. I seen them skits on the. <laughs> you wore that this, this day on the podcast. That's crazy. That's Y'all cool. remember the first time you've ever like smacked? I don't want to say a groupie because that sounds very derogatory. But somebody who was a fan of you that and, wanted your penis. Yes. Yeah. Like, do you remember the first time? Not a first. I, 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 would have to I don't think. know if I remember the. F- Y'all disgusting. If, they can't remember the first one. I don't know <laughs> I if I remember the first one. Ain't that shit? I Is that before Obama or after? It's going, on, it's going on eleven years, dude. Eleven years. It's been a it's long, long time. Because I remember the first time, and I just remember thinking, like, "Wow, this girl got some low self-esteem." I was like, "I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fuck me," based on the fact I got 
a hundred thousand subscribers, bro. Like, it could be that, or maybe they just really, they might you, like you, you they really connected you with you. Come on, baby. You're, you're I mean, a good I, guy out here sometimes. Yeah, but usually I had, I had, I had to giggle my way into a pussy. I had to work giggle. my own. Like, I had, to, I had to work. <laughs> well, you know humor's I mean? still all my, all I got. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Nah. Humor's still all. Yeah, all humor's I got. number That's one. Yeah. Number it's one it's one funny though, because like when I seen, like I, rem- I remember, um, I don't know this guy, yeah, yeah. but I saw this dude, handsome as fuck, right? And I saw. That's the first time I noticed. Uh, what a good looking guy goes through. He has the same shit that happens to him that a hot girl goes through. Like, I appreciate women it, just David. Fucking <laughs> I didn't know you was going to talk about this story on the podcast. <laughs> so Cam was at a bar, right? I told him not to talk about yeah, this. Cam was at a bar, right? He just walked up and then oh this girl just put her pussy on his face. It was fucking crazy. It's wild. No, but it's fucking crazy. Like, this dude would just stand in there and a girl just starts walking. And she gets all, like, these girls were nervous. They're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, he was going through the same motions that a hot girl goes through yep. when people just approach them. Because I've never had that experience, never in my fucking life. We do it all the time, David. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, like, well, what's it like, guys? <laughs> <laughs> what what's it like? I'm over here. I'm like doing magic tricks and shit. Hey, but a lot of times, <laughs> point out the ears. It's shit. Like, like a real pretty girl. Those would be the ones that don't have the personality because they True. didn't need it their whole life. Mm-hmm. So does he have a good personality, or maybe? He doesn't if it's been just but see, given that's to once him again, that's life. an ugly person rationalizing. What's it like to be a, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, he don't give a fuck about this whole his podcast called No Scrubs. <laughs> yeah, we gonna call this one No Scrubs. <laughs> like, he just had, like, girls dangling off his dick, just, uh, like, nah. just chilling. And I was, like, I was kind of surprised. I, I just never seen that before. I'm yeah. like, oh, so pretty guys have that experience, too. Like, when sometimes, like, people just flock towards mm-hmm. them. Because I've only seen it on the girl side. But, but they also it, say, you know, attractive people are likely to be more successful yeah, when they well, get jobs. If they get know. any type of power, you yeah. know, women are going to be attracted to the power. So if mm-hmm. he has any type of power, he, some, and unfortunately, subscribers and followers equals power in in a sense to some people. So if they see that, oh, you got 100,000, 200,000 subscribers. You got some type of power. You got some. Oh, influence. you got a check next to your name. Oh, we got a check next. You're you gonna, got, they're gonna at least stop and look. They who gonna this look is. for a second. Mm. I never forget when I when I first got verified. <laughs> it was this girl that that was in my DMs and she would never respond back. I got verified. I posted a story and she was like, "Oh man, that outfit's cute." I was like, "Oh, you funny. Look at that. You dude. are. You are funny." My uh, my boy Khalif, this dude, <clears throat> very is, Khalif. No, nah. <laughs> <that's laughs> wait, is that the one who looks like um Colin Kaepernick? Yes, he was in our fuck yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. So my boy Khalif, like we've been friends for like ten plus years, no, ten years now. This dude, uh, <laughs> there's this girl that I used to follow on Instagram, fine as fuck, and I was like, tight, I'm gonna follow this ass. Bop, followed her, right? Mm-hmm. I'm verified, everything. You know, uh, no, I never, I, I never DM'd her, nothing like that. But he follows her, right? Yeah. This man had at the time maybe eight thousand followers. He's a good looking dude. Mm-hmm. Follows her immediately. She goes, hi. I'm like, what in the fucking <laughs> bitch ass motherfucker? How dare you? How dare you? How fucking dare you? Yeah. She he, she just saw the follow, looked at his profile, and went, hi. I'm like, okay, it's like that. She liked what she liked. She like, liked what at least she wasn't thing. shallow and blinded by the numbers. And then yeah, they like her more. It is. Yeah. <laughs> and that's now, the thing that pisses me off. Like, like, now I just want to marry you. <laughs> and then I saw on her story, she watches The Office, and she was watching oh, yeah, like King yeah. of Queens. I'm like, this bitch trying to. Is she fucking playing with me right now? <laughs> you got value. Is she listening to my podcast? <laughs> you got a genius brain. I know. I was like, this girl, she's playing me right now. That's funny. Um, I love you. I want to. I want to double back to slap boxing. Uh, the baby slapped a girl. He said he didn't know it was a, a girl because they. Walked- <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> no, listen. What he said is kind of valid. So he's walking through a crowd. There's that video. All you see through the crowd. Is people going like this to him, and one person goes like this to him, and kind of like, like it didn't look pop, like a hard hit. It didn't look like a hard hit, but the kids come out, and he just went and, and swung, and then kept walking. Later on, he finds out this girl. He said the light was in his eye. <laughs> Okay, that's, said, that's, that's, that's a, a that, valid. I said that's, that's a, valid. That's a great excuse. He said the light was in his eye, so he said whoever was behind it was just gonna get it because he did hilarious. He said he just he, sw- he he reacted, and I was like. Damn, I can't even really be mad at it because I because we done been in situations where you be in a crowd of people or everybody doing this or doing that, so you might move them or swing, and it just happened to be a woman at the time. But you just got to control. Me. You yourself. can't be you can't be hitting fans. Yeah, no, you gotta control unless yourself. it's like this. But but you that's what really we're talking about. To. What's the boundary between us and fans? Because sometimes. Sometimes a fan deserves if, it. If so the fan spit on you, if the, if the fan actually really hits oh, you. Oh, I mean, yeah. That's, you know, I feel like you guys but, have uh, very 
social sociable fans like a lot of my fans not want to say a lot a small percentage of yeah. them they some of them can be really socially awkward so like I've, I've definitely slapped the fan before because <laughs> when he when he said that the baby when he slapped him i was like sounds about right because I've, I've done it too like I've, I've done this thing where i was at a meet and greet and then uh we were taking a picture and the dude was trying to be funny and he just squeezed my ass oh yeah no nah. so I, like, I, I slapped him that, upside yeah, his head so uh, yeah. fucking hard that when i slapped him upside his, he went oh because <laughs> i hit him so fucking and you, hard and well, that's different that's they, disrespectful they, 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 they don't yeah. know you yeah. you know what i'm saying I felt you don't can't just grab anybody ass. they don't know them but i felt so objectified i was like excuse me you, you have on sweats. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you got that good grip. Really, really I, mean, I had the yoga pants and everything, but my god, <laughs> like he had his fingerprints in my ass. Like no, he yeah, can no, ID can't himself on it if he wanted later. No, some mm. people are like some people that's don't too, know the, 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 the line crossing when it comes to fans and like artists and stuff. Like you can't be grabbing on people too hard. Like you can't be reaching on their pants and grab. Like it's just like yo, just take a picture and just move forward. So if the person, if the woman. You know, unfortunately, was that close, and if she did hit him, like we don't know. I don't know how hard she hit. It didn't look. It like, didn't look hard. It looked hard, video, but I don't know. We we don't. We but that was a real G. Did you see that clip? Of oh, that, he don't play. Yeah, yeah, he don't. That play. dude rolling up on him when he was yeah. shooting that music video. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was like, I ain't got to check in on you. People need to leave the baby alone because he don't give the fuck. Like he it doesn't don't care. care. <laughs> leave, leave him, alone. him alone. He was surviving prison. He shot Easy. somebody in Walmart. Like, yeah, leave this man alone. He shot somebody in Walmart. In Walmart, bro. Like what you doing shooting people? Walmart. Self defense. Some dude rolled up on him. He with his family. They showed guns. They trying to attack him. He had a yeah. gun. Sh- sh- defending I'm himself. sorry. The whole family showed up. Like, no, the, no, the no. Little, saying he, had his family. he had his family. Oh, he had his family I thought, with I him. This guy rolled up with the no, baby no, no, and no, yeah, pacified no. him. Out, like, uh-uh. Listen, the baby was with his girl and his kids, and the dudes ran up. He gave him them rollback prices. Like, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta get back, dog. <laughs> get the and fuck he, back. Man, the first Roll time the someone back, broke bitch. into his house, he shot them. It's like leave him alone. Leave him alone. People don't learn. Stop. Stop. He beat the man up in the mall. Leave, the man, leave him alone. Like, stop. Leave him. You know what? He seems like a pretty de- f- reasonable dude. Though. No, that's what I'm saying. Even on his IG, when he was talking about the incident, he said, "Look, I, I apologize. I didn't know it was a woman on the other end of the phone, but you know, you gotta understand. I understand." He said, "I don't even understand the lifestyle that I live. I understand. I'm gonna be out in, with fans. I know some people may get rowdy, but I'm gonna give y'all that respect. I even tell my security. Uh, he's like, I don't like when security come through and just be mushing fans. Like, don't do that to fans. They deserve to see me. But if I give y'all that type of respect, give me that type of respect. Give that's me all my people ask for. He's like, that, that's all I was asking. For. So you see." Like honestly, a reasonable guy, but sometimes it come up out of him. Sometimes yeah. <laughs> can, people. So, here, here's the thing: I, I get, I understand fan excitement too, because I'm a fan first and foremost yeah. too. There's people that I'm huge fan. Like I just told you all about. I met. Uh, I didn't meet him, but I was in uh, Studio City, mm-hmm. and there was Elvin from the Cosby Show. Mm-hmm. The sad thing is, I don't know his actual name. Gotcha. But Elvin. Gotcha. Yeah. And I saw him, and he was eating a breakfast burrito. Now, in my mind, you want to run up on. I him? want to run up on him, yeah. grab the other side of the burrito, <laughs> and eat on the other side. <laughs> What's good? <laughs> And meet in the middle like yeah, Eddie in the trip. And then just, <laughs> what, <real quick. laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. I didn't do it, though. Mm-hmm. I saw that he was eating his delicious breakfast burrito, talking with his friend, chopping it up. Yeah. I'm going to just be happy that I got to see him and then move on. Move forward, yeah. But sometimes people don't give that respect to human beings. And so, like I always say, too, and it's funny, too, because I'm very consistent about this shit. And sometimes I feel like uh, fans misconstrue what I'm saying. They're like, they'll come up. They're like, I know you hate being bothered by us. It's like, no, you no, can no. talk to you me. Can talk to me. Yeah, just yeah. when I have food in my mouth, just give me a second. You well, know, like yeah, that's it. I'm I, not- that's like when I was at Howard for the homecoming one year, and I'm on the phone with my mom. My mom's trying to tell me about something with my grandma. So she's telling me it's about something personal. So I'm really trying to listen. And so I stepped to the side. And the girl came up. She was like, can I take a picture? I was like, oh, hey, yeah, no problem. I was like, let me just finish up with my mom real quick. I just need to talk to her. She's like, I'm not waiting on that. And, and takes the picture. Just me on the phone. I'm like, yo. That's when you the baby your ass. <laughs> like, now, if I would have slapped the phone out and handed this up, oh, you be it. And see, now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> but yeah. you being mad disrespect. I'm like, first off, you take it, you're not even in the picture. You just took it of me. Yeah. Like, it just, and then. You fucking creep. Like, <laughs> like, that's weird. That's weird, man. So, that's what it is. You got to know the boundaries of. of, it's, of it's just like, I, I understand, like, excitement. But the, the, the thing that annoys me the most is when they're not even a fan. Like they don't, gotcha. they don't even really know me. Gotcha, you know what I mean? Gotcha. They're like, they might have saw me maybe something through your stuff or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. and they let me get a picture, and they don't even know my name. And it's like, so you're gonna interrupt my meal, this conversation I made with my parents and my friends, yeah, yeah. so you could just say that you met somebody that, that's like lightweight. Like I'm a Z list celebrity too. Like have some standards. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Maybe not Z. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a, maybe a Q. Okay, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Q list yeah. celebrity. You know, have some Q's real not standards. A bad letter. Q's not a bad letter. It looks good, uppercase. Yeah, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm a Q. 
You know what I mean? You. You're not going to get any clout from me. It's not going to help you out. Like yeah, maybe yeah. at like a fucking Vietnamese restaurant, you might get some clout. Hilarious. But other than that, nothing's really going to happen. So why, why even do that? They walk in the restaurant, they're being rude. They just go, David So? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, it's, Got it. it's one of those things, too, that I feel like none of us are really, like, prepared for. Yeah, we you so, know. Because yeah. I, I think people who genuinely did this to be famous, which is cool, that's your thing, they they deal with it a lot better. Yeah. Like, yeah, I never yeah, thought yeah. about the the outcome mm-hmm. of doing stuff that becomes popular. Like, you you knew it's a possibility, but you, that, that that wasn't your main mm-hmm. focus. Of like, oh, yeah. I, I know I'm going to be famous, so let me do this. It's like, no, I'm going to do this work. I could get popular. But I'm still only doing it to Because do the stuff that always made me feel really good was when somebody comes up and they're like, oh, we listened to your podcast, we saw your sketches, and it helped me out in a really dark time. Yep. That makes yep. me feel good. Yep. So when, But when somebody just comes up and like, I saw you in something, it's like, I, I, that's not really what I did it for, but that fulfills a certain part of my life where I made somebody laugh and feel great about themselves. Because yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. that's what I loved about comedy. And that's yeah. why I, that's, people always ask uh, when I do these college shows and I do these Q&As, they go, why did you switch from music to comedy? I was like, because when you laugh, no matter what you're going through, you're happy. It's healing. For sure. It's healing. It's medicine. It, it heals. And you only sometimes you don't want to laugh, mm-hmm. and, you, and you do because it just you like you <clears> want to be mad. I'm being mad today, but then somebody do something. Someone yeah. just sent me like I posted it talking about how we helped them out get through dark time. I'm like <sighs> out of ten years, this is my first time posting. Like we got those messages for long, and that's but, what keeps us going. But it feels like, good. Like, yeah, when, that, when we have like all right, you know, when we get in our slumps, even the like, certain that things that us. you do that you don't even think is impacting people. I remember I was at this. <clears throat> Korean barbecue one time. <laughs> and oh, you slowed down like that, motherfucker. <laughs> Korean barbecue? <laughs> no. You was trying to see if you could do an accident or not. Like, no, Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue. And I'm sitting there, and this white dude comes up to me. He's like, bro. He was like, I love your work. I'm automatically like, oh, you watch Dormtainment? And he was like, oh, nah. <laughs> he was like, nah. I seen you on dad jokes. He was like, I love your dad jokes that you guys did on All Dev. And I was like, oh, thank you. He was like, oh, no, but for real, really, man. He was like, you brought my family back together. I what? said, we brought your family back. He was like, yeah, man. My mom and my dad was fucking arguing, man. It was a lot of tension in the house. My sister was doing stuff. And so my dad made us all come come together because we're all off in college. He made us all come together that weekend. And he was like, um, and my dad and I, he, my dad was like, find us something to put on TV. He was like, so I put on dad jokes. He said, we sat there and laughed. And it's the first time we bonded in like weeks. And I was like. That is wild as fuck. Crazy. <laughs> I was like, that is wild. He was like, so I just want to say thank you. When people come to me, I'm like, you want a picture? Yes. So like, yeah. You feel so touched yeah. by it. I'm like, let's take a picture. Yeah. I don't yeah. know I, he was like, I just want to tell you that, Yo, man. Yo, when you guys did that dad joke shit, I, like, I'm not just saying this. Everybody <clears throat> else's dad joke video, I didn't laugh. Like, yours is the only one I laughed at. I think it was the group. I, because we've known each other so long for 13 years now, 14 years, when we did it, it was just like the shit we do in the house. So it just, I guess the chemistry was just that there. Shit, when you, when you every, delivery. When yeah. you delivered that shit, it was just shit. She had a mean flow. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I cried. That I was shit, crying. That's a laugh. great job. I <laughs> never, oh, man. Like, it's one of those things when you laugh so hard, like, it's like a ch- like when you're a kid. That's how yeah. hard I was laughing. That shit threw me off. I was like, Yo, what the fuck is going on? It was well, me and Khalif, we were watching it. We were that laughing. Was what makes it good to me is how serious we were. We had it together <laughs> at the beginning. Oh, we had it together And beginning. then towards the end, we was uh, epic. Yeah. It was too funny, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's so funny. Us laughing makes you know everyone else. And it's laugh. the background laugh, and it's like, come on, man, it's just uh, tough. But that, that we yeah, it was told fun. Him we'll be back. You know, we come once once a year. Yeah, yeah. it's been since, been about two years now, so it might be it might be time for it. ADD's for back, so we'll come back. Yeah, yeah, people definitely have seen that so much. Like it's all over the place. Yeah, people are doing it in German and all type of stuff. I call customer service. Yeah, I'm talking. He like your voice sounds familiar. I'm like, what? I don't have this distinctive voice. He like. Were you on dad jokes? I'm like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> that was the wildest That's fan wild. experience. He's Damn. like, were you on dad jokes? I'm like, how you working on my... You probably talked to hundreds of people That means he day. watched the video a lot. A like, lot. he watched the video a lot. Shit was crazy. I watched that video. I watched it like four times. I go back and watch. Look, because it's funny. That shit's funny. <laughs> you just start laughing. It's contagious. Man, sometimes I'd be watching like uh, some of the older stuff and it... And, it's cool that I could create something that makes me laugh. Yeah, you, you yeah. know, what I mean? yeah, yeah. Like I did this uh, sketch called Ball Handles, mm-hmm. and it's this <laughs> it's this fucking ridiculous NBA player that's called Ball Handles because he just yeah, checks I everybody just in the that fucking skit. nuts. That shit was so funny to me <laughs> on true. IG. I watched. It, I was like, this is good quality. Too. Yeah. I, I started saying, after skit, I'm just this is well <laughs> shot. I started appreciating how it was, it was shot in slow motion. That's, funny. that's how much I used to care. Yeah, yeah. That was old. I, I think that was old. That was old. Bro. I, I look like that was new. I shot that shit four years ago, dog. No, I thought that was new. I never seen that. I yeah. like this is a he this I gotta right. watch. I gotta watch this shit again. Now, yeah. See, that's the thing. I think because we are like the OGs of the internet, the comedy world, like we just have a different 
I don't know. We have a different respect for each other. We have a different outlook on the whole skit game. Like, we know when somebody stops doing skit, we know what they're going through. So we're not, I get it. Like, you ain't got to explain why. But the fans don't know. They don't know what we've been out here doing and stuff like that. So it's just, it's interesting. And the fact that that was four years ago is quiet. I didn't, I, I didn't know. I feel like a lot of the stuff we did, though, was timeless. Like, it's, Absolutely. it's timeless content. So it Absolutely. wasn't like the quick laugh. It's like, this is going to make you laugh no matter who watches it 10 years from now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that's why, that's what that sketch was. It was like, it was just something so fucking dumb, and it was originally going to be. It was based off a character I did back in the day when I first started YouTube, um, and I think his name was Ball Handles. No, no, his name was something else. I forgot what the fuck. Ball he used handles. to just scream, "Hold my dick!" every time he did a layup. But it was a dumb, <laughs> it was a dumb character <laughs> because I was going to do a second sketch after that. Yeah. Uh, it was just called Skins, and it's just this dude that plays butt dick. <laughs> No, that's that's Yo, funny. Dude. Every time you take a naked picture on your IG and <laughs> shit, I was like, David be out here wild. Though. This shit is funny. I like though. you like a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> I like he looked like the thing from Ghostbusters <laughs> and Marcelo <laughs> Man when he first. You want to know the funniest I'll shit about glad. that? My uh, assistant took those pictures for me, right? At the time, I had an assistant. And she was so fucking dumb. She would be like, I can't believe you're making me do this. And I looked at her dead in her eye and said, you, this is your idea. Like, she, I was like, we're gonna take some funny pictures, and she wrote the ideas down. I'm like, this is your. We don't have to take we these pictures. She goes, Nah, I'm already in it. <laughs> she nah, I'm already in it. I'm here now. I was up now. Hilarious. Yeah, listen, I'm, we we are a genuine fan, so oh, yeah. keep doing your shit. Just be butt naked all the time. Just be butt naked all the time. I guess uh, the last thing we hit on just to hang out fast. And I do, I do want to talk about Netflix comedy okay. special. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you want to... speaking of setting boundaries for the rest of this month after today. No more hanging out, cause I need to focus. I need to you oh, know get work hard. done. Yeah, cause I've been hanging out a lot. I'm gonna do it with a lot of people hit me up coming in town. Mm-hmm. I was like, I need me time. I need to be selfish and focus. Mm-hmm. So I'm going on a hangout. Fast. And like a, like, and I've, I've I've said this before. After tonight, cause yeah. I already had a prior engagement. Yeah, we had a prior engagement. We're going <laughs> this, this hockey game. But I said this before. It's like not even like we've said. Okay, we need to focus stuff like that. But like. No, it has to be taken like seriously to a whole another level. Like literally telling yourself if it's not work related or or some type of funds related, can't do it for the rest of the month. And the rest of the month, not even not even that long. It's like 20, 20 days, but that can make a difference in your focus and everything. Because I don't think sometimes people don't realize like we don't have like a paycheck coming every two weeks. Of course. It's not a job. It's, like, not, it's not a regular job it, like most of or entrepreneurs. Yeah, so we have to figure it. out where what avenue the revenue is coming in and done. And sometimes when you are spreading yourself so thin doing other stuff, sometimes it affects your hangout because you might be out but the one thing you think about is why the fuck am I out? I don't need to be out. Mm. I need to be doing I need to be working on this or doing this and it's like I don't want to even think like that. You know, there's a good balance though because sometimes I feel like when we put our head down and we work too much, we stop experiencing life and, it, sure. and it fucks up our art. Yeah. So I had the opposite where I didn't hang out enough and I just didn't have stories. I didn't have anything to be inspired by because gotcha. I was just in a, a fucking room all the time. Mm-hmm. So this past two months I've been hanging out more and it's gotcha. been helping me out. That's good, like, yeah. I'm, so there's like a weird balance, mm-hmm. you know? So maybe we we getting some of that from you. We <laughs> we're trading we're, off. We're right trading now. off. Yeah. <laughs> I start feeling like shit sometimes when I hang out too much, though. Like when I when I'm done with it after I had a good time, yeah. I'm like, damn, I literally just wasted four hours. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sometimes I had a four hour meal. Yeah, dude. Some, some, like, something yeah. happens, you're like, man, I knew I should have stayed. I knew I should. <laughs> That's the no. first thing. I knew, knew I should have stayed. stayed home. <laughs> I'm not hearing like, your car bullshit. gets old. I knew I should stay home. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, they're hanging out with this bullshit. But yeah, we think it's gonna. Well, yeah, we think it's just going to be good because there's just some things that have to be, it just has to be done. Some sacrifices have to be made. I mean, this whole game is about sacrifices, so that's just what, that's what it is. I mean, if you really think about it, uh, somebody put it into perspective for me. Uh, somebody, it was my manager. He was like, you know, you you sometimes like you work so much, you, you kind of look down at all your accomplishments that you have. But you have to realize you've been doing this for like 10 years. Mm-hmm. There are TV shows who haven't been on past three, past seasons, three seasons, two seasons, one season. One season. Pilot been, episode. Yeah. And you still, he goes, you still consistently book. People still want to see you. You're still creating content. And it's been 10 years. People don't see that type of success. Most people don't even stay in the same career past three years yeah. until they switch to another job. You've been doing the same thing consistently for 10 years. People can't say that. So it's like that in and of itself is a blessing. It's like I never thought about it. Yeah, you got to think about it. Yeah, like you got to take too, a step yeah. back. There's actors who get that 
half a season. They book a pilot and it never comes and sees daylight. And then you never see him again. That's how I feel when I go back and watch our old stuff. Sometimes I just got to go back and I'm like, man, we accomplished a lot of shit. A lot of shit, yeah. I sit back and look at it because you in it. When you in it, it's hard to see sometimes. You got to step outside yourself. Yeah, especially if you feel like you're not getting the – Either the monetary gain or the views that you want, you might be like, ah, oh, you know. But sometimes too, when fans they 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 be saying some fucked up shit, they don't even know. <laughs> they, they, like, they do. I was eating the other day, and this dude comes up to me. And I, I was like, try not to laugh because this fool was like lightweight dissing me in front of my face, but he didn't even know. Mm-hmm. He goes, hey, bro, David, so I fucking love you so much, man. He goes, man, I don't know why people don't watch you anymore, man. You're so funny. Are you don't get no views? And I'm like. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, yo, shut the fuck up. Like, come on, man. Yeah, why are you screaming this shit, too? I got too? Yeah. <laughs> Like, lower your volume, yeah. bitch. Like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, you used to be so funny. Used to be. This was just talking out of his ass. He goes, but I love you, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. Nobody else watches you, but I watch you. And I'm like, dog, this guy, he's trying to get socked so bad right now, dude. Like, my, my self-esteem is, is dropping. Yeah, yeah. Every time he opens his fucking mouth. And it's like, I know I'm funny. Like, stop. Just shut up. Shut up. <laughs> no. like, Leave people, me alone. People still watch me, bro. They're like, come on. You seen the podcast? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, come on. Um, but real quick, before we get out of here, we want to talk about this Netflix comedy festival. The uh, that should look good, man. It's a you lot about of it? people. It's going. coming. Up, uh, it's April, right? Yeah, and it's yeah. at different places, so it ain't like all in one spot. So they got at the Ace at uh, the Ace Hotel. They're doing a uh, um, Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart, Chris Rock, Billy Crystal, That's Whoopi Goldberg, crazy. Jerry Seinfeld, Sarah Silverman. It's like honoring the greats. Hollywood Bowl, Dave Chappelle got a whole evening of music and comedy, so it's going to be like... I love Dave Chappelle, man. Great. And I think it's already sold out. Yeah, I, I wanted to look done. at tickets. It's only like one ticket. Ace like, Hotel sold out? You don't even know. I didn't look at that. I only looked at the Dave Chappelle. The Shit. Greek, they're going to have a bunch of people. The Fonda, they have David Letterman. At the Palladium, they're going to have All Jamie the greats. Foster, everybody Schumer. coming out. <laughs> like, they got everybody. But my thing is, will it get canceled? Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah! Like Hollywood Bowl, I love that venue. That's one of my That's favorite venue, outdoor yeah. venues. But it's huge. It's, it's gonna huge. be a lot it's of people. outside, a lot of air, a lot of sneeze going on outside. You know, I'm surprised that you guys didn't do your own comedy tour. We have in the past. Yeah, yeah but we need to huge, get back on. Yeah, but yeah, we need to get back on. Because everybody's think. just creating their own path now. Because mm-hmm. you know, before when you were a comic, you you know we had to go to the comedy store yeah. or whatever, and then sign up and see if we can get a quick little five minute spot. But we have a following enough now where we could create our own spots. Yeah. It's like even revenue. if thirty people can, yeah, yeah you, thirty <laughs> people, forty people, yeah. fifty people, it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, no, yeah. But that's where you start, and then you know people are like, well, Netflix, they, you know, they're gonna, they're not giving me a special. Make your own fucking special. Yeah, you don't, you don't, yeah, you don't need them. To give and them 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 just don't overthink your shit. Just enjoy what you're doing, and some pe- some people will fuck with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like people know, like Kev Kev stuff. His quality is low, like in terms of video quality. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter. His content speaks for itself. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he's he, funny, man. Right. He's funny. Yeah, he's he's right. just like he's like he reminds me of just that funny uncle, right? He just says the right funny things. He's yeah. Not, he doesn't overdo shit. He's not really having bits. It's just him being a funny guy. Being a funny guy, and, we, and it works. It is he's works. Just fucking. No, he's great. We got to get him on. And here then too. the the podcast tours now. Yeah. Like, oh, I yeah. feel like that's you, you, the that's can, the way. You can win with the podcast. Tour. Like if you if you you should just go on a podcast tour. That's what that we're thinking shit. about. No, but you know I'm lazy as fuck, man. I'm I'm over here. I'm over here trying to hang out more. But shit. I think it's meant for the lazy. Yeah, yeah, lazy. Honestly, All you, you ain't doing do no work. You ain't really coming up with a stand up bitch. You just have your topics for that city or, or popular shit that happened. Just talk. I know, man. Yeah. We'll do you're a sitting we'll down do a, too. You get to sit down. Yeah, we'll do a comedy trap house genius brain uh, fucking That'd podcast. Be, yeah, let's do that it. Should be funny. It be funny. Uh, might we might make a some Asian babies on that tour. <laughs> 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 I like. <laughs> <laughs> I like offending people though. It's it's a good thing. I think people can be offended every now and then. They should yeah. be because people are too stuck. Especially alike. in comedy, that's right. who's supposed to do it. Yeah, I get mad when people get upset. At, you know, like com- comedians, they're gonna bomb. They're gonna say some offensive shit, yeah. and they'll they'll take it out their next set. So you know, let people work their material out. Yeah, there's like some blatant bad shit, like Kramer. You know, Kramer. Yeah. Sh- Kramer shit's really, yeah, Kramer. Really that bad. was a little, little in. But like, number one rule: just make it funny. The more offensive it is, the more funny it has yeah, it gotta to be. be yeah, it gotta be mm-hmm. Don't say offensive and it's a bad joke. You gotta be I mean, funny. Mm-hmm. No, you gotta be funny. Um. All right. Well, uh, David, plug yourself, brother. Whatever you want him to follow you at, all the good stuff. You can check me out at Genius Brain. Check out that podcast. Mm-hmm. I mean, my podcast isn't as fun as this for sure. Like we be getting <laughs> mad serious. It was supposed to be a comedy podcast, and then everybody just starts crying every time they come on. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a therapy session. Because you know therapy what it is? It's I got couches. 
And they get comfortable. And people get mad comfortable, yeah, and they're yeah. just like, I was raped. I'm like, what the <laughs> like, fuck? I didn't ask for- Hold on, man. Like, what's going on? I said comedy podcast. <laughs> and like, David, I can open up to you so much, and I feel blessed that you can, but I was trying to make people laugh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's yo, dark. check out the Genius Brain podcast. Uh, we're up every Thursday and Sundays. And then check out my food spots. There's uh, Wing Chicks. There's uh, Shrimp Daddy. There's Junbi Matcha. Daddy. There's uh, Chichi Dango, a Hawaiian shave ice spot. And Which one got the good seafood? That's the one I want. Oh, shrimp daddy, come shrimp come daddy. through this uh, this upcoming Sunday. I'm gonna hook it up. Remember, I'm not hanging out. No, no, he said come through get food. Come okay, through, okay. Oh, you gotta eat. Yeah, oh, yeah, you gotta yeah, eat, man. You got them skinny ass legs. I gotta feed that shit, bro. Yeah, come through. We gonna come get food. We gonna come. It's shrimp daddy. This Sunday. This Sunday. Oh, okay. All right, make it happen. Shrimp daddy. All right. Yeah, make sure y'all follow on Instagram, David So, and we will see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.